Hey folks, this is Riker, bringing you an update to my patch 2.12 Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls endgame Demon Hunter build. Now the build that I initially presented was a fire build, and I've actually had a video guide on a cold build in the works since before the fire build even hit YouTube. And while other priorities have stopped me from getting that completed, I do intend to put up a video on the Demon Hunter Marauder cold build, but for now just wanted to address an issue that's often brought up, and that's whether the cold or the fire build makes for the better endgame Demon Hunter. Now apart from fire and ice, lightning can also be made viable, although it's pretty tough to gear for, and physical has been emerging as a new contender, most of the discussion centers around ice and fire. So which is better? It turns out the answer really depends on what you're after. And the easiest way to sum this up is by asking whether you prefer to run T6 speed rifts or you want to try to push as high into the greater rifts as possible. You see, the cold build relies on cluster arrow, whereas fire traditionally uses multi-shot. And it's the difference in behavior between these two skills that establishes their strengths and weaknesses. Put simply, cluster arrow is better at dealing with single targets, such as rift guardians, whereas multi-shot is better at dealing with large groups of enemies. The higher up you go in Greater Rifts, the more gruelingly tedious those Rift Guardian fights become. The Rift Guardian tends to be your stopgap to completing a Rift on time. So while Multishot will be able to deal with all the white mobs before you get to the Rift Guardian a lot faster, you will slow down tremendously when you hit the Rift Guardian. Instead, the Cold build is a lot better at dealing with that final engagement. Now that said, both of these builds are great for T6 and for higher greater rifts. You can get well into the 40s with a fire multi-shot build. And in fact, if you're playing in a party, fire isn't at all a bad option. In fact, there's a sort of intermediary build between the fire and ice that swaps out multi-shot for cluster arrow loaded for bear. The ice build uses cluster arrow maelstrom, because that's the one that fires rockets, benefiting from our ballistics passive. So if you do fire cluster arrow, loaded for bear instead fires grenades rather than rockets, so you would swap out ballistics for steady aim. Other modifications you can make to the original multi-shot build I posted include swapping out Vengeance Seed for Marked for Death Mortal Enemy. This will give you a significant damage buff against single targets and effectively further reduces the resource cost of multi-shot as long as you always ensure that one of the enemies you're hitting has been marked for death. Further, and I specified this in an annotation, but I realize some of you don't see those, for the fire build you want to use Vault Trail of Cinders. And that's because your cinder code will reduce the resource cost of Vault, making Trail of Cinders a superior choice to tumble, but only when you have a cinder code. Further, in T6, you don't need a generator at all with the fire build, but resource management will likely become a problem at the higher greater rifts. At that point, you'll want to swap out Marked for Death for Entangling Shot Justice is Served. Or if you have a Critter Shot, use Elemental Arrow Immolation Arrow. That wraps up this update, check back in the future for my guide to a cold demon hunter build, or if you want that guide right now then you can check out a written version of it up on The Escapist and you can find a link to that in the description below. Thanks for watching, check out these other videos, and if you enjoyed this one, share it with friends, leave a comment, hit like, and subscribe to join Rikers Raiders.